Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here we are with another video for today. And today is gonna be fun because we're fixing a car that's broken and it's the Honda. It's not the GTI. However, the GTI is broken too, but that's for another day. So let's talk more about the Accord and why it's broken and how we're gonna fix it. So let's go. So the Volkswagen, which is right here, this car is broken because it needs another clutch. Now, what clutch I'm putting in the car, I'm not gonna tell you guys that because I am actually um, waiting for that to come in and I'm gonna be putting it in the car. So this car is gonna be saved for another video. So the car in question is the Accord, which is right over here. Now this car has been parked and sitting here for the past two and a half weeks because a lot of different things wrong with it. This thing has given me the most anxiety ever because, and it shouldn't, right? It's the car that is the daily driver. It is the car that is not modified. It is the car that should just be able to do what it's supposed to do and be able to start all the time and be able to run all the time. But this car has been giving me a big problem. It can't move and I don't know why. All right, so let's get in it. Let's open up the hood and let's chat. One thing I definitely love about the 7th Gen Accords is the service mode for the hood, which opens up a complete 90 degrees. Now, this car has been giving me an issue because it cannot move. This car has been 100% fantastic the whole experience. It has 138,000 miles on it. I bought it with 102,000 miles on it. This is the first time it's been really giving me a stranded issue. And I didn't know why until today. So I still don't know if this is gonna resolve the issue, but I think this is the major problem. So one Saturday morning, I decided to go ahead and do an oil change. So I wanted to do an oil change and I noticed that every time I shift gears, Oops. Every time I shift gears in the car, it would be very, very difficult to shift gears. And it got worse and worse and worse. So normally, and the most, the normal thing to think about is maybe it's the clutch, right? But before I went and jumped to conclusions, I wanted to replace a couple of components. So now a couple of those components had to deal with dealing, uh, changing a couple of things that related to the clutch, like to the, to the clutch hydraulic system. And that consisted of the slave and the master and the fluid in the reservoir to make sure that everything was good. I wanna give a special shout out to one of my neighbors. His name is Bobby. He's a cool dude, has a scat pack. He's a fun dude to hang around with. He's funny, he's, he's a cool dude. And he actually came out to help me out. Saw me struggling and one Saturday morning, like two weeks ago, I was really trying to figure out this issue. He came out and was able to help your boy out. Uh, we spent the whole Saturday figuring out what could the issue possibly be. But unfortunately, that day ended up to for that day ended up pretty much just it got us nowhere. The car still here. It has a bunch of dust on it. It has not moved. But I think I knew what the issue was when we went through it on the following Monday after the weekend. First thing that we actually did. Bobby also recommended, he's like, let's let's bleed the system. You know, the, the, the fluid was a little dirty and let's bleed the system. So if yours are on a K24 cord and you're looking at the engine, um, the slave cylinder is actually right there. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm pointing at it right there. And then the bleeder is right next to it. And then this pushes the fork in and out for the clutch pedal. And that's what engages and disengages the clutch. So we figured we bleed it from there. Okay, we bled it. It was fine. Then the pedal feel got worse. I wasn't able to engage gears at all. So even before that, what did I ended up do? What did I ended up doing? What I ended up doing was that I actually went ahead. I thought that maybe the only thing that wasn't serviced on this car from the very beginning when I bought the car was the transmission fluid. I always told myself that I was going to do a, 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 a manual transmission service on the car and I never did it. So I went to Honda, I bought the fluid. I said, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna be underneath the car anyway to do an oil change uh, for the car because it needed it. So I'll do that while I have the car jacked up. The two bolts are right on the side, very, very easy. Um, and if you guys want me to do a video on that, I will. Um, but 
just going with the story. So I changed the fluid and it made no difference. I went ahead, drained the fluid. The fluid actually didn't look bad. It didn't look bad at all. So I was just like, okay, maybe it is what it is. I'm not too sure. Concerning the fact that I changed the fluid and there was no, I changed the transmission fluid and it was no issue. I mean, there's no change at all. Then we went ahead to bleeding the slate. We, we went to bleeding the hydraulic system all together and put new fluid and everything from the slave. But we noticed the slave was really dirty and crusty and old. So we went ahead, um, I did it for now. Um, I went ahead and replaced it with, uh, you know, advanced auto parts or AutoZone. Um, it was 28 bucks to replace the slave, um, not to replace it, to buy the part. And then we replaced it. Um, and then we tried to bleed it again. It felt better, but, but then it wasn't engaging gears at all. So then I was really concerned about, okay, well, we replaced the slave, now let's replace the master. Now, if you guys wanna know where the master is on this car, it's all the way in here. So you have to remove this reservoir, and then after the reservoir, you have to go all the way, it's tucked in behind the reservoir in this corner right here, which will push the, you know, which will actually engage and push the clutch pedal. Cool. So, the issue still didn't work. We replaced the master, we tried it again, it wouldn't go into gear. Then I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna need a clutch. And that's one of the reasons why I love this car. So Sunday, when we realized it, and I keep locking this door. So Sunday, I actually went out and I got a new clutch disc and a pressure plate and a new flywheel. The good thing about Hondas is that Advanced Auto Parts has these in stock and it was not as expensive as it would be for a Volkswagen. This clutch for the clutch kit, this is basically a whole clutch kit, came with a throwout bearing, new um, fly built, flywheel bolts and everything like that. And this came up to about close to $400. But then the funny thing about it was, let's, we, we said, Lee said this, let's do one more time. Let's, let's put a, a vacuum bleeder on it and get pressure to see if there's any leaks in the system. So before we did that, we went ahead and also we wanted to adjust the clutch pedal. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's no clutch pedal in here right now. There's there's no clutch pedal in here right now. <laughs> and the reason why is that I found something very, very interesting with the clutch pedal. And I'm gonna show you that here. All right, so Bobby actually, he walking over there. He's walking down now to finish and help me out this job. But what I noticed is when we took the clutch pedal, he's like, I think I know why your clutch isn't working. And I said, why? And we saw this monstrosity here. So I've never seen anything like this before. And this was a problem. So I needed to get this replaced as soon as possible. And I needed to, this probably was the reason why the clutch wasn't engaging. So now as I was doing more research, I found out that this is actually a common issue on the 2004 to 2008 TSXs, um, the 2006 to 2010 SIs. Listen, sir, I'm just explaining the whole process of what we went through. Now I'm putting you in the clip because you because you because you want to be because you want to be that guy. This this is the guy right here that's been helping me throughout this whole thing. So. You know, he didn't want to he didn't want to realize it, but we actually ended up having to get a new clutch pedal and this piece right here is actually pretty man Shout out to you, you play too much <laughs> you play too much so yeah so it goes on like this so i even talk about this piece yet so considering the fact that this is a common issue on tsx's and si's no one's ever reported it for accords so i reached out to this company called top shelf performance in florida and they actually make this bracket and they said that this is a common fault part and they said, you might, you can even put this on the broke loop. You can even put this on the broken one. And it's one piece of a billet aluminum. And Bobby, hold it right there for a second because it's going to go on like this. You literally put it on like this, and bolt it up. you're going to have to bend the switch. Huh? And you're going to have to bend the switch. No, you don't. You shouldn't have to. Bet me. Well, we got to bet each other. Now, he, now we don't know if it's going to work for the Accord. Because the, the, literally, he put it on the SI and the SI's piece is exactly the same um and the tsx is also exactly the same so it's gonna be interesting to see if it does work or not but only one way to find out so you literally put it on like that you use your 12 millimeter bolt you bolt it on and this will pull into this part and it won't cause any flexing from the top it's 125 dollars but this 
Now this this clutch pedal. Now Honda is wanting to charge about two to three hundred dollars for this pedal. I found it on Amazon. I forgot the company that made it on that sold it to me on Amazon. But it is an OEM part. I'll give you guys the part number. It's this right here, four six nine one zero dash SDA dash eight zero one. That is for the whole a clutch pedal assembly for this car. Now I'm thinking. Oh, I have your crowbar on my Volkswagen too. I'm a feep now. You left, you know, you left the drain pan underneath the car too. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm sorry. He told me I'm a feep. I left him in the car because we was working on it. This car didn't even move for two weeks. Look at all the dust on it. It hasn't even moved. He's just mad because he got a scat pack and you already know what's going on in the industry. Look at him trying to reach for a latch in the trunk. It ain't, it, listen, it's 2007, brother. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't old. Oh, I had it right in the passenger seat, man, where we left it. <laughs> I didn't touch anything in here. So I showed him the old clutch pedal. That thing, that thing is done. The guy, so his name's Albert, and he is the one that originated this design. And now we're gonna swap out the two switches. <laughs> we're gonna swap out the two switches and swap out these two switches here. Um, I know what one of them is for. I don't know what the other one is for. Same part. All right, well, we're going to need your hands, so you're going to have to YouTube bye bye. Yeah, so it's pretty much easy to install it back. Um, you can watch any video on YouTube about it. Like I said, with this bracket here, it is literally just putting it in. Actually, he made an installation video and a, and a, uh, a demonstration of what it's supposed to do. I will link that video in the description below as well. But I want to drive this thing again because my Volkswagen has other issues too. But that is another video for another day because I ain't got the time. And he's helping me right after work. So I'm he getting mad at me. He don't he's not used to this. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this camera down. We're gonna put this in the car and uh pray that this thing actually does not need a clutch. Cause I do not feel like dropping a trance this week or next week or ever. So Bobby decided to get in here. Not while Bobby's turning. Anywho. He, this man, I love the Accords because we just took the damn seat out of the car. Is he complaining about there not being enough space? I said I got it, but, you know, he didn't want to do it, though. He said, just move aside. Let me do what I do. So he's going to do it. Once he's done with everything, so I'll explain so far what we've done. We had to remove the switches off of this one, which are located. Wait, where are they located? Here. In here, there's two switches. So we got those removed. This was, this was completely bent. This is not even in alignment anymore. We got the switches. We put them on a new one. We put the clutch pedal in. Now we're putting the, the plate on, uh, the top shelf performance plate. So this thing don't flex no more. And I'm thinking, if my mind serves me right, I think we're going to have a moving accord today. All right. So here's what we did up top here. I don't know if you guys can see the clutch pedal too well. But if you guys look up there, I'm gonna see if I can get the light on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to try to point to it for you. All right. Oh God, I can't even see it. Here, that is the actual new bracket. Now, when I push this clutch pedal in, it doesn't flex anymore. So well, let's see if you guys can see that. Yep, so if I push this clutch pedal in, there's no flexing to the right and left side of this anymore because of that brace. So that actually fixed it. Now you're also looking at this, these switches are reversed. Uh, we actually accidentally put them in reversed, but that means that now I can start the car without a clutch pedal, which means it's kind of cool, right? So I'll leave it like that for now because I really don't feel like taking this assembly out anymore. But yeah, so that just goes to show you, um, if you have, the issue where, I'm trying to get up there. There you go, that brace right to the left, right over there, it's kind of like a clamping onto the back of the clutch pedal assembly. That is the top shelf performance brace for these cars, for the Hondas. And yeah. All right guys, so after putting that, putting a new clutch pedal in, as well as putting in a new, this new brace from Top Shelf Performance. All right, here we go. OK, 
Okay. All right. So now the car is running. Now, if I put now before when I pushed this clutch pedal in and try to shift the gears, it still would not allow me to engage. So let's see. Clutch in. Well, that first of all, the clutch pedal automatically feels a hundred times better. I don't think I've when, since I've owned the car it ever felt like this. It actually feels like a normal clutch pedal with an actual engagement point. But will it go into gear? Oh my god, it goes into gear. Yes. Clutch pedal in, car's running. Yes. Oh, everything works. All right, guys. So I already knew, obviously, you know, from where the car was, because I said it wasn't, it hasn't been able to move, which is true. And now where it is now, next to my Volkswagen, yeah, I have already figured out that was the issue um, after putting everything together. Um, I had to go down to a wedding for Alabama, but I had to f drive down to Virginia um, to make my flight. So I put about a hundred, about 150 miles on this car ever since I've done this. One clutch feels clutch engagement much better. I'm able to figure it out. I'm able to have that drivability of the car again. I'm able to also gauge more of where the clutch grab is. Now, I don't know how long this clutch pedal has been broken or has been cracked to the point where it's starting to get more broken over time. Cause as you saw the old clutch pedal, it was significantly bent and broken. I'm actually just very shocked that this actually fixed it. I'm happy that it fixed it. As you guys saw in the previous clip, I already, I was, I was about to put a clutch in this car and I'm glad I didn't need a clutch in this car at all. It was just a clutch pedal, which saved me a significant amount of money. Uh, a clutch for this car is around four to $500. I found this pedal on Amazon for um, about $135 plus shipping and tax, which came out to about 150. Then I also got the actual brace um, shout out to uh, Top Shelf Performance. We didn't know, they didn't know, and I didn't know if this brace was going to work for the Accords. Now, since we do understand that, it does work. It does work for the Accords as well. So if you have a 2004 to 2008 Acura TSX, um, preferably the K24, well, they only came in a K24, the six speed. If you have a 2008 to 2012 Honda Civic SI, the eighth generation SI, and if you do have the 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord in manual, I believe this also works with the V6. Don't quote me on that, we don't know that, but we do know it works with the K24s now. Uh, we do know it works with the K24 five speeds. I'm sure the six speed has the same clutch pedal assembly from the same generation, because that would be, that would, have cost savings with Honda and that only remotely makes sense. So I'm sure this will probably work with the V6 as well, but don't quote me on it. But I will say this, um, we weren't sure. We weren't sure if it was gonna work. So shout out to Top Shelf Performance and you know supplying this brace and being able to see, you know, for me to test shoot and see if it does work, which it actually does. So I will put a link down in the description below like I said, if you have those vehicles that I just mentioned and you do have an issue with clutch engagement and you don't think it's the clutch, don't put a clutch in the car. Try this method first. See if your clutch pedal is broken. And if it even it isn't broken, it's good also to add this brace onto it as well. I will put a link of how to fully install this. Oh, that's another thing I want to mention. Installation, right? The installation process is a little annoying, so I'm sure there's more space on the 8th Gen SI and the, 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 the TSX, the 2004-2008 TSX. The issue that I was having was that there's a box with like a bunch of connectors, a fuse box, and also just connectors um, underneath the, right near the clutch pedal as far as where that bolt is, the 12 millimeter uh, nut goes. And it was just very difficult to have your hand there and also you know, try to do it yourself. So what I did was, took the clutch pedal out, um, actually, Bobby also uh, figured out this trick too. We zip tied it to the bracket, aligned to keep it aligned first so we don't have to hold the bracket as we're installing it. And then once we got that nut in there, we was able to, you know, push and figure out where it was going to sit. We ended up cutting the zip ties off. So now it's in place to where it is and it's good to go. Um, I'm sure it's probably easier on the 8th Gen SIs as well as the TSXs, but there's very limited space on the Accords. But if you want to see the installation video of that, I will put a link to Top Shelf Performance's link 
uh, for that video down in the description below, as well as I'll put another link of where you can buy this for yourself. Don't buy a clutch, check this out first. So that's it. I'm happy. This thing doesn't need a clutch. It didn't seem like it needed a clutch because I just drove the car previously. I just had issues shifting. I bought a clutch just to be on the safe side, but I returned everything already. Shout out to Advanced Auto Parts for having it, but I don't need it, sorry. So you guys can have that back. I got my money back for it already. And that's four or $500 back in my pocket. I can't be any happier. Now we gotta fix that thing. Cause that car actually does need a clutch. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that because I, that does need a clutch. I know, I, I believe I do know what clutch I'm gonna be putting in that car. So, and I'm you're gonna be meeting some old friends on the channel. Um, as well as to getting this car ready. So that's gonna all be fun, but make sure that you liked it. If you did like this video, if you found it informative, please make sure that you hit the like button, uh, give it a thumbs up, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. You guys always remember that now, considering that my daily is fixed 100%, you guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle. <laughs>